Hey there, it's Mark. How's everybody doing during the week? Or actually, I should say last weekend, I was going through my Monster Jam collection and some of my uh, old Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that I uh, would not need for my collection anymore. Some of them I hid, uh, hid in between here and the movies. So I set out a bunch of trucks. I'm going to set out a bunch of trucks this weekend as well. I shouldn't say a bunch. A handful. But... Uh, the, the rest of them are going to go on Mr. Groove's eBay store. The link's in the description. Here we have the 2020 F case assortment from Hot Wheels. These are the USA long cards. Let's check them out. 2020 F. Hello. 2020 F. Let's see what we have. Oh, right away there's a new model looking at me right in the face. And you probably, uh, you might recognize this character. You might wonder, what is that guy doing in this case? Well, Mattel owns lots of properties. They own Hot Wheels. And they own other properties as well. So, well, some of them, they're going to cross market. We'll get to that one. Let's scoot some forward a little bit here. That looks like a recolor of the Jeepney. I forget what the model is actually called. But Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels version of the Jeepney is uh, called something else. Here you have new for 2020. Hey, check it out. Nice color. 98 Subaru Impreza 22B STI version. Now this is a new, this color is new. It's a new for 2020 model. But uh, this is not the first color. It's already, we're, right now I'm in uh, February. We're in February of 2020. So we're, we're a few months into the year already. So this one's actually going to get two colors. And who knows, it's got time to get three. I don't know if it will or will not. So you have headlight decorations and tampons in the rear. And since it's a new model for this year, it does get this blurb on the back. Now they don't do that. They only do that for new models in this year and only on the uh, English packages. Tesla Model S in like a pewter color, nice metal flake. You have headlight decorations, tail light decorations. Hey, look who's back, Honda Monkey Z50. And even though I'm not that big of a fan of uh, motorcycles, Scorching Scooter is my favorite. Haven't seen it in a long time. This one's a pretty cool little model. And a license model, of course, Honda Monkey Z50. Has a driver. No driver. It's not a ride-on. You can't put a ride-on. You can't spread you can't spread the the legs far enough to get around that seat. I don't believe. Now right there in pink. That was a new model last month. You have Donut Drifter. There's your little donut driver right there. Pretty cool. Fun stuff. You know, some people like it, some people don't. That's cool. It's up to you. Wow, two back-to-back -back pink cars. Here you have diaper dragger. It looks kind of looks kind of plain, like something's missing. They do have, if you look in the back, it does have like a teddy bear in the. Uh, I guess that's like a bassinet, right? So there is a teddy bear there with the uh, blanket covers. It looks plain, like something's missing, but I, I don't, I don't think so. But it sure looks like some set aside. Uh, and I'm going to set this aside. See if uh, there's another one in here, and I can tell if something's missing. Mazda RX-7. This is a regular car. By the way, you know, Hot Wheels, they, they have chase cars. They're more limited than the regular cars. And they call them treasure hunts. And this car, if you find this car with a 25TH 25th anniversary, that's the super treasure hunt for this case. And it all actually say 25th on the hood as well. It's basically a superized version of this car, but it gets special paint and rubber tires. This one gets basic enamel, enamel paint and uh, basic tires. It's not the super treasure hunt, but if you find one with those special features, that would be the super treasure hunt. Here's a Donut Drifter. We took a look at that already. Any other pink cars? No. Road Bandit, that's what they called. That's what Mattel called their Jeepney inspired vehicle. And it is a new model for 2020 as well. New for 2020. Did you see Donut Drifter in my last case unboxing video? Well, I, sh I, show, I show the backs because I get the English packages. 
So I do show the backs. New for 2020. We, I'm just going to pause it. You got to pause it, okay? Because people don't want to slow down the video too lo too much, right? Especially if you, they tune in every week. 2005 Ford Mustang. I shouldn't say if they tune in every week. If they tune in for every one of my case unboxing videos, they don't want to keep see duplicate information that they've already seen. So in case you didn't see it before, uh, now you can. Here you have Runway Rescue. It's like an airport emergency vehicle. Circle. Hey, it's Circle Trucker. In the last case, it had Circle Tracker. And I said, hey, Circle Tracker, when are they going to reissue Circle Trucker? And guess what? There it is. Circle Trucker. It's kind of neat to have two vehicles with uh, nearly the same names as the uh, number racing, racing number 20 on top. Racing number 20 on the side. Now, people ask me, is that a, a, a treasure hunt symbol like right there? No, that's their track loop symbol. That means this is a, a track car. That's the treasure hunt symbol. Not what? Treasure hunt, look. Yeah, basic treasure hunt. So in the F case assortments, if you find this car, it's a chase car for the F case assortments. It's not exactly rare. It's only, if it's going to be in the case, it's only going to be one per case. So pretty cool that we got it. Now, this is the F case, right? So on the back in the USA, we get these uh, codes. And that last digit, that's the case, F case. So now we're already six cases in. I got one in. I did not get a treasure in the A case, but B, C, D, E, F, and now, no, F. So I did get the uh, basic treasure hunt in, in all the cases so far, except for A. So that shows you it's not guaranteed to be in every case. Uh, the other thing is there's, I told you about the super treasure hunts. Yeah, they're not in every case and they're even harder to find. I have, I have not got one yet this year. HW Warp Speeder, mm -mm -mm. pretty cool design, eh? This is not a uh, new model to this case. This is a new color. I don't remember what the last color was. New for 2020. Take a quick moment to hold it right there. Okay. You got to be fast to pause that one. IL Driver. Not one of my favorites. I'm not going to spend too much time. Sorry. Here you have the 65 Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback. Golf Decorations. Get your light blue and orange. I'm not sure if they actually have specific colors instead of me saying light blue and orange. But uh, that's understood to be golf colors. Uh, this is a good car right here. Uh, 69 Chevelle. It's a track car. It's a tuned version of a 69 Chevelle. Very good on the track. And La Fossa is back. It showed up in the last case as well. We had, I think, three models that we have not seen in a long time. I think one was Circle Tracker. So now in this case, we have Circle Trucker. Came back. I haven't seen you in a while. La Fossa was in the last case. Carried over to this case. Tesla Model 3. I think that's the one that was up first, right? Here you have fished and chipped. That was another one. Carry over from the last case. Hey, same with you, Baja. Both of these models. Haven't seen it in quite some time. And it's nice to see them back. Baja truck. And if you see this in person, check out the color. It's like a, a Spectra Frost color. Very nice. <laughs> oh, well, you, well, you recognize them? Well, this video just got flagged for made for kids. Because, hey. Thomas and friends, but my case unboxing videos are not uh, made for kids. They're made for collectors. No, if you're a kid, you can watch, of course, but I don't specifically make them for kids. Loco Motorin, that's going to be the name, Loco Motorin. So they use the Thomas the Tank Engine property. Hey, Thomas, what's happening? And new for 2020. Now, this time I'll pause a little longer so you can read it. I'll read it just in case. This crazy train-themed vehicle is going off the rails and onto the track to prove it can do more than just pull its own weight against the competition. So they said the track. So it says best for track. Now, it looks like it'll work on the track. Look how it has a curve right here so it doesn't get stuck in the loops. You can see like a curve right here. This is a metal-based model. Now that we have the base, you have M46 for the code. It was produced the 46th week of 2019. 
It's a 2020 new model, but it was made late last year, and it's just now getting to the uh, shores here in uh, California. Made in Malaysia. Local motor in on the base. And there's the code for this car, GHB65. So if you happen to search the internet, it'll show you that's this car. Train, whatever. Uh, I wonder if they're going to do different faces in the future. There used to be a train a long time ago in the lineup, but they have not. Uh, I think it might have went to the final run. Baja truck. Got another sample of the Baja truck. I like that uh, graphic. Look how they do. Look how they have the Hot Wheels flame logo, but it's yellow, white, yellow. And on top, they did yellow and blue. Here's another one. New for 2020, celebrating Mattel's 75th anniversary. I wonder what kind of cool car they uh, came up with. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Celebrate Mattel's 75th anniversary. Not Hot Wheels, Mattel's 75th anniversary. You can pause it. I'm going to move on. Hot Wheels were started in 1968. Barbie's actually older than uh, Hot Wheels are. No taillight decorations. Kind of futuristic spaceship type car. Pretty neat. Nice little uh, driver's bubble or canopy. Hmm. Interestingly, uh, it has the silver decoration here. And that's it. But, you know, pretty, pretty cool model. Pretty fun looking. On the base, it says Mattel Dream Machine. Oh, this one actually, base code 47, M47. So they're, they, you know, they, they keep producing cars and then they get put in the case. So this one's 47. I think the other one was like a 46. Thomas the Train was M46. So we'll see if I remember to put 46 and 47 on the... Uh, in the description here's another mustang same one two in the case this is the other one that was in the case last month haven't seen the custom cadillac in a long time and here you have tool again it's so strange so you have tool again right but then last case they had a new model that was i thought it was going to be a replacement for tool again but uh no here here's tool again i wonder if that other other model is going to be in here audi rs5 coupe Coupe. Yes, does have nice printing on the back. None on the sides. We have headlights. Here we have new for 2020. This was new in the last case. Nissan Silvia S13. I think this one's a super treasure on it too, if you find it with special paint and rubber tires. This one is a regular issue. Nice decos. So you have them on the side and you have them on the rear for the tail lights, I believe. Nice fantasy car from Hot Wheels. I believe it came out in 2019. Why did this on this side? Mess myself up. There's another runway rescue. Here you have Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Baja Blazers for the decoration. It has hood decorations. Another, I believe. 88 Honda CRX. In the last case, I think it was the E case. If you find this one with super uh, special paint rubber tires, it's a super treasurant. Uh, and it's interesting that it's uh, black instead of blue. So if you find that this blue version, it's, it's a regular issue. Cool car nonetheless. Carbonator. I don't know if we can see the decorations right there. Uh, race final. Uh, race final, I guess. I don't know. River. Maybe it says river. Anyways, who we have here? Turbo charged. Turbo charged in the Street Beasts segment. This car took a break for a while as well. Uh, well, just a couple years. Uh, turbone charge so it's, you can say it's in the bone shaker family it has a skull for the grill turbone charged how's that card out pretty cool looking card art that's for sure let's see here geoterra it was new in the last case not new to this case electric vehicle 
I believe, I believe people said that it was a electric vehicle, no drivetrain. Uh, it might have said on the back actually. It's the design to rip through harsh terrain with the speed and precision of a track car. The performance of this exotic off-road vehicle begins where the paved roads end. Oh, maybe not. Uh, if these are carburetors, probably. So this is this is probably not an electric vehicle. That's my guess. Hey, get a spare tire. I wonder if they gave it the same uh, wheels as this. <coughs> Excuse me. Range Rover Velar in black. Got tail light, tail light decorations. Dusty blister. And painted grill. Wheelie chair for Aaron Wheels fathering them. Um, I thought it was autographed right there. It's the uh, wheelchair. And. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. Hey, there's another Thomas. It's not called Thomas. Loco Mortarin. Rail Rotter was the one that uh, we have not seen in a while. I think that one got final run. El Viento. So now I guess uh, Loco Mortarin is going to be the new train in the lineup. El Viento. And I had asked if there was any models. I don't recall seeing any models with the flip-up spoiler. And somebody had commented, yeah, El Viento was right in that last case. And they were correct. There it is. You can flip this uh, bumper up or splitter up. You can flip it up. And to make it uh, best for the track, Range Rover Velar, another sample. sample. You know, you're going to have like two in the case. You know, uh, eight years ago, seven years ago, when I first started doing the unboxing videos, there would be like triplicates, but then it wouldn't carry over till the next month. So it's the same amount produced, I think. 64 Chevy Impala, another tuned car. You have your blown engine. And like I said before, uh, I like this car. I definitely like seeing it back in the lineup. There was a brown release. I think it was flat brown. Mm. That go we're going back a little way, so you can look for it if you like. Oops. Another 88 Honda CRX. This is a new model, Formula E Generation 2, Gen 2 car. It's not new to this case. Came out last month. Octane in green. We know Octane came from Rocket League. Has a Rocket League decoration on the hood. Let's see. Yeah, there's the logo right there on the hood. So with this Gen 2 car, it was new in the last case. It's not new in this case. It was this color. They already have another color. I've seen pictures on the internet. There's already another color for this car. Here you go. Circle Tracker. Oh, this one has a 75th on it as well. I don't know. Oh, yeah, last month people said it has 75th. HW Race Day, I don't know how many cars are going to get this uh, deco style for the 75th anniversary. I do not know. We're Circle Trucker. I picked up the wrong car. So there you have Circle Tracker and Circle Trucker. This will be a common car. This one, basic treasure hunt. Only in the F case assortments, unless there's a boo-boo. And it's not in every case. So, you know, you can call it rare because mm, it's more rare than other cars. I've got two Tulians. We'll compare them just in case anything different. Same wheels. Mm, everything looks the same. Sometimes you like to look just because uh, there could be a missing part. And then when you put them side by side, it's easy to see. Another Geoterra. Audi RS5 Coupe. Another Formula E Generation 2 car. Ice cream. It's actually a quick bite. It used to be called the ice cream truck. It's had quite a few names. Uh, one of which, Grillionaire. Yeah, uh, quite a few names actually. Uh, I like it better this way. Uh, they did it for, it has a metal base. This one's 47. Uh, for a while, well, it used to be metal, metal, I think. But for a while, they went to a plastic base with a metal side. And then they, 
made the plastic come wrap around the side so the bottom portion was plastic and the top metal nah it's just easier you know what make make it half and half i was looking to see if you can see a post in the middle holding the model together uh i don't see one but you see this right here mm, so this is hidden right here anyways we'll move on el viento roger dodger steampunk Depor decorations another circle tracker two in this case and it was in the last case as well nice uh, nice graphic presentation black gold red white silver two samples of this pearlescent uh, metal flake 49 Ford F1 it's a pretty cool color if you get to see it in person. Very, very cool. Very unique. I don't see uh, that used. There's a new model right there. We'll go to get to that in a second. 69 Chevelle. We've already seen one. And uh, people are like, why are you showing it again? Well, because sometimes, sometimes you guys got eagle eyes. You'll see it missing a part or something. New for 2020. Here you have the 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug. And it's like they already have a tuned Beetle. So I thought this is kind of like uh, repetitive to tune another Volkswagen. But this one's a, uh, this, I guess this is a Baja version. It's uh, wide. Uh, it's wide. If you look at it compared to other, other models, it's wide in the back. And check it out. It's got, uh, uh, not skinny, but the rear wheels. It is not a uh, evenly... Uh, I don't know. What's the word? Parallel. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. But anyways, eh, it's okay. Oh, look at this one. 45. M45. We got three codes going here. Uh, this one, uh, not so much. Oh, Amanda loves my daughter. She loves slug bugs. She's probably not going to be interested in that. DC. You have a gold Batmobile. Mm, I don't know the name of this one. They got uh, so many Batmobiles. I just won't expound on it any further. As a matter of fact, uh, no tampo imprints at all. It got the gold decorations and no print at all. But that's okay. That's a good one for the boosters, by the way. 95 Mazda RX-7. Nice. Just clean. Looks like a car could be on the regular road or racing. On the other side, it's upside down, but it says Mazda Speed. You can argue about that if you'd like. Clip Rod. <laughs> Clip Rod. This is brand new. Clip Rod. Uh, so I guess it's a, uh, it's a money clip. What, no more fast cash? Does that mean they're not going to have fast cash anymore? Uh, oh, this is, you can attach it to you. So you can clip it on a backpack or lanyard. Or bag of chips. Oh, I see. So, well, they do show it clipping on the money. I guess they just didn't design it more for uh, clipping onto things. Got your flame logo, if you like the Hot Wheels flame logo. And it does have Hot Wheels imprinted. I had glare on it. Show me the money, honey. There you go. And it says clip rod in the stylistic decos on the side. A track car. I did show you the back, right? You can pause if you want to read it in more detail. In case I was too fast. It's all right. I like fast cash better. Yeah, I'm just saying. Hero Rod. And it's not because it's older. It kind of looks like a gangster car, actually. Fast cash does. Not this Not this other one. This one. This one. So you put it in your pocket, and then you put hang the clip on the outside. And Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going there. High tech missile. Don't ask. I'm not, I won't say. <laughs> High tech missile. Great track car. This one has an x ray orange body. And this is a new model for the year. Mod rod. No, I take it back. It does not seem new model. It must have been late last year, so it's, it's not new for 2020. Came out at the end of 2019. This might be only the second color. A lot of people liking this car. Well, we're running out of uh, chances to get a super treasure hunt. Time of taxi. 
an orange. That was in a video game. Here you have another clip rod, the same one. Ah, I need a drink of water. Okay, I edited out the cough. You don't want to hear that. A sneeze, no big deal. I almost thought it doesn't have the same size wheels, but I think it's just the rake of the car, the truck. I don't think there's anything going on there. If not, I'll find out. I'm looking at the interior, looking at the rivets or the posts. Yeah, I think that's just the normal rake. I don't think there's an error there. And six to go. Here you have another 70 Volkswagen Baja. I don't know if I showed the back. Now that I think about it, I might not have showed the back of this car. I think I did, because I remember seeing Wolfsburg, Germany. We already seen this one. Did not see that. Look, there you go, Indy 500 Oval. Pink. Okay, three pink cars. I think there's dust coming out of the case. Give me a problem here. Three pink cars in the case. Part of the Speed Blur series. And this one we haven't seen in a while either. Indy 500 Oval. So now it's back. Last three. And we have 10 Camaro. 10 Copo Camaro SS. We haven't seen this one. I don't think we've seen this one for a while. You can see the decorations on there. Or Tampos. 68 Dodge Dart. And when we say tampos, it's because it's a tampo machine that makes that print. T-A-M-P-O, tampo machine. So we just call them uh, tampos, the prints. And there you have another mod rod. Hey, check it out. Uh, I'm getting ready to do my thumbnail. I'm putting the cars back in. I'm going to take my picture. And then I'm, I'm getting ready to do the second row. And then I notice, I don't know if you can tell in the video, first of all, has a little plastic overhang, so I caught my... Look at that! I got two cards. Uh, local motor in, so it's the right card. But I got I got two cards here. Somewhere it's stuck on there. I don't know if you can see it when I was doing the video, or when it was sitting there. You might, might have been able to see it. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to go back and look myself. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. And have fun with your toys. Bye-bye!